Finding a champion in main can be hard, now obviously you want to pick a pretty strong champion, but the strong meta picks are heavily contested. It's pretty hard to main something that gets picked or banned half the time. Well today, I'm here to help you with that. My name is Nathan Ng, and today we'll be going over the best champions to main on patch 13.1. The picks that we have in this video are strong yet less popular options that you can get your hands on pretty consistently, making them reliable picks for climbing that are actually worth investing your time in. Do remember that our meta videos are usually aimed at a high to gold plat level called the middle elos. So if stuff isn't in line with what the popular high elo players and pros are saying, that's probably why. This stuff is tailored for the majority of people. We'll be starting off things in the top lane. The first pick that you should consider abusing this pick is Warwick. For whatever reason, Warwick has been allowed to remain a ridiculously strong multi-role pick for years now without Riot ever batting an eye. In fact, dating all the way back to season 9, he's only had a few real changes and they've all been buffs. Seriously, this may be the most slept on pick in all of League. His dueling is absolutely insane, with good sustained damage and healing that pretty much no one can beat. And what makes him even stronger is that you can flex his build based on what you need for your game, with really strong options for both tank and more damage heavy builds. Before I go on any further, I just want to take a minute and remind you that while meta videos and other content are a great way to pick up some quick tips, if you're super serious about improving, you should head over to ProGuides.com. Our coaching staff is made up of top level players and they're available 24-7, so it's always a good time to stop by. And for just $7.99 a month, you can take a ProGuides experience to the next level. Our premium sub gives you access to all of your courses and bootcamp content, and we'll even throw in a 10% coaching discount. If you're ready to take your gameplay to the next level, trust me, it's worth every penny. Now, let's get on to our next pick. The second pick that we have is Olaf. With so many other popular picks being nerfed over the past couple of months, he's really become a contender for one of the best top laners up here. If you have an aggressive playstyle and prefer to play super snowbally picks, he's perfect for you. You can force fights as early as level 1. If an opponent doesn't respect your all-in potential, you can easily pick up a kill when they move up to CS and get caught by an axe. Our final top laner today is Maokai. I think this is another super sleeper OP pick. A lot of people are focused on the super meta picks like Mundo and Fiori lately, but when built correctly, Maokai is actually just as strong as them. Jack Show Maokai has already been really broken, and with them buffing that item this patch, he's only going to be more of a monster in the mid and late game. Now let's take a look at our three junglers. Our first pick here is Amumu. After his last round of buffs, Amumu is right back at being a disgustingly strong pick, with about a 54% win rate at the moment. What makes Amumu so strong is his consistency. He has a decently fast and healthy clear, pretty decent ganks level 1 to 5, and becomes super OP post 6, and some of the best initiation in the game for teamfights. Aside from his CC, he also deals a ton of damage, with this build and his tears allowing you to melt your foes away and burn damage as they struggle to do any damage to you. For our second pick, we're going to be going with Fiddle 6. New season, same old ELO inflating jungler. ELO inflated is a label that gets thrown around a lot, but Fiddle is basically the very definition of it. He's like the Seraphine of the jungle. You really don't need to do anything special. You just win most games with very basic thinking. Clear camps, avoid fights early, and once you have your ultimate, use it on cooldown in the lanes where you're most likely to get kills. Later on, he's just so broken that you can usually carry fights, even when behind, as long as you can land a good ultimate from the fog of war. Honestly, as much as I like playing Fiddle 6 myself, I know he's a pretty unhealthy champion. With no interaction, he just solo carries most games if the enemy team doesn't snowball against him. This leads to him being really frustrating to go against. And that brings us to today's question of the day. What are some of the other super frustrating champions? This isn't necessarily about champions that are just overtuned or broken. It's just the champs that have a huge impact or are just super annoying to deal with, with little to no actual counterplay. Let us know your answers in the comments down below and let's get on to the next pick. Our last jungler for today is Nocturne. This Assassin Bruiser hybrid is a super reliable, consistent pick that is basically always good, since he brings the best of both champ classes to the table. His ultimate allows you to pressure the entire map, easily going for picks anytime a foe moves up too far on their own. But unlike other assassins, he's not just limited to targeting squishies. His kit makes him a fantastic duelist against beefier targets as well. With the beefier Bruiser build, he's also a great team fighter. We have Stridebreaker as the go-to mythic item in our standard build, but the newly buffed Jack Show could be a super broken item on him in this patch if your main goal is to 5v5 in the mid and late game. Now for the mid lane, the first pick that we have is Zillion. He's been a massive overperformer for years now with a 54% win rate in plat, and that goes even higher once you start playing in diamond and up. And it's not like you have to work very hard to pull this pick off. In fact, there's really nothing to him. Early on, you're just sorta here to survive. You don't really interact too much at all. As you get points in Q and some AP, you can start to clear waves pretty effectively and even go for trades. But you really just come online later in the game. Zillion is all about enabling allies and shutting down enemies, so he does best at skirmishes and teamfights in the mid to late game. If Zillion is too passive for you and you want something with a bit more early game power, maybe Kennen is more your speed. He hard abuses melee mid laners while being able to safely farm up against range ones. 
The second he hits 6, he spikes hard. His ultimate makes him a disgusting champ for skirmishes and team fights. so anytime your ultimate is up, look to 2v2 with your jungler or force a fight around dragon. Our third pick for the mid lane is Jace. Like Kennen, he's a champion that does pretty badly in the main role as a top laner, but is doing quite well in the mid lane lately. But just as Ryde did with the little ninja yordle earlier in season 12, they're still trying to push buffs for his more popular but less successful role. And if history tells us anything, the end result is probably going to be that Jace is still either bad or pretty mediocre in the top lane, but will be a really good pick here in the shorter mid lane. Moving things down to the bot lane, the first pick that we have is Neela. She's been in our S and OP tiers pretty much since release, but unlike most modern new champions, she hasn't been super popular, nor has Riot really done much to nerf her. Despite being a melee champion, she has a really strong laning phase, easily sustaining through most poke that you receive by itemizing into early healing via Vamp Scepter, which you turn into a Hydra. Her Q lets you easily clear waves, and once you're 6, you have some all-in potential. But your main goal is just to survive lane. Nila really shines in later teamfights, where a well-placed ultimate can lead you to completely sweep the entire enemy team. Our second pick here is Tristana. Her early game is super strong with some of, if not the best pick potential in all the ADCs. The second that you hit 2, you have the burst to almost solo kill most other squishy bot laners, and once you hit 6, kills should be guaranteed if your support lands any CC. But she's just not an early game carry. Triss is also a very strong scaling hyper carry, and one that's very self-sufficient. Her high range, resetting jump, and self-peel via her ultimate makes her a very hard target for would-be divers. Our final pick for bot lane carries is Swain. Most bot lane majors are about neutralizing the lane by shoving the wave and poking under tower, but Swain is more about going for bursty trades early and all-ins post 6. Once you have his ultimate, you should never really lose another fight as long as you play around your ultimate's cooldown. Swain's biggest spike is in the mid game. Once you have 1 and 2 items, you should be forcing fights every time your ultimate is up for some free wins. For our supports, the first pick that we have is Sona. Sona has already been our number 1 pick for the most consistent champion to climb with. She's super easy to play, and she rocks a 54% win rate. She's incredibly powerful, being the best scaling support in the game. This patch she's going to be getting a little bit better, since Seraphine's getting a huge buff, including a lifeline shield that will give Sona a nice layer of defense against divers. If you prefer a flashier playstyle, maybe you should consider Rakan instead. He's really snuck up as a good pick this preseason after being pretty bad for almost all of Season 12. Most players like the Ghost Torellia's on him, but he's one of the few champions that is really good at abusing Radiant Virtue. Rakan is all about his explosive team fighting, and that mythic just goes perfectly with his playstyle. Last but certainly not least, the last pick that we have for you today is Velkaz. Of course, we gotta have another pick for those of you that just like to basically just be another carry on the team. But being a mage doesn't mean that you're not a real support as well. In fact, with how lane dominant they are, mage picks are actually better at setting up ADCs to win early than any traditional support. Obviously, later on you don't have to do much to help them, but how can they complain when you're pumping out huge amounts of damage in 5v5s? And that's it for our top 3 champs to main on 13.1. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure you sub so you never miss out on guys like this, and you're always on the loop on what the best things are. Remember, let us know in the comments what champ is just too frustrating to play against. And one last thing, don't forget to check out our Discord in the description box below, where you can discuss League further, or just hang out and be part of the community. Can't wait to see you guys back in the next video, but until then, stay safe, stay healthy, and have a wonderful day. Peace.